Hello dear friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to please subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much guys, I appreciate your support. Stakeholders and professionals from the Igbo and Yoruba nationalities have scheduled to meet on January 15 to discuss the way forward regarding Nigerians myriad of social economic challenges. The meeting which will be hosted by an organization, Father Land Group, is also aimed at addressing the troubled relationship between Igbo and Yoruba nationalities. The two biggest ethnic groups in southern Nigeria. According to the convener, Dr. Dele Ogun, the meeting will draw professionals from across Nigeria and diaspora. In a release, Ogo, a United Kingdom-based lawyer and historian, said, the history meeting will hold this January 15, being the anniversary of the day Nigeria witnessed her first military coup, led by Major Kaduna Nziogu and other radical soldiers with the stated objective of cleansing a rotten political system. The coup went awry after being hijacked by reactionary soldiers. As events, an event that led to the counter coup of 29 May 1966. political instability, and then a civil war that lasted for 30 months. The war and its aftermath continue to dominate bitter debates between Igbo and Yoruba people with each trading blame. Opportunists politicians have, over the years, exploited the rivalry with a selfish harvest of parochial political fortunes to the dismay and detriment of millions of Yoruba and Igbo people who are naturally blood bound by circumstances of fate and commerce even in the midst of the bitter rivalry. The theme of the January event is tagged Yoruba and Igbo speaking with one voice from a shared experience. We tie to Biafra. The summit is intended to find a common ground in the space, uh, in the face of mounting common challenges occasioned by instability and existential threats to the lives of millions of Nigerians. This will be a step towards building a new constructive relationship between generations of Igbo and Yoruba people who have been divided by hostile narratives, which have sown seeds of discord since the beginning of the campaign for Nigerian independence, in which the two great civilizations played the leading roles but in which both have been poorly served. The process of reconciliation is to be aided by Dr. Biki S. V. Minyuku, who was the chief executive of the South African Truth and Reconciliation Commission, headed by Bishop Desmond Tutu. 
The conference will be chaired by Joe Williams. Speakers at the event include Emeritus Professor Emmanuel Chukwedo Wanzi, former Vice Chancellor of University of Benin, Professor Banji Akintoye, the worldwide leader of the Ilana Omo Odua, a Yoruba global movement, Timothy Modu Jr., as well as historian Ogun. The Zoom event is expected to draw prominent Nigerian scholars and professionals at home and in diaspora. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? A massive Igbo Yoruba stakeholders meeting has been planned to end the ethnic rivalry according to the convenance of the meeting. But the question that we must ask ourselves is this. Can this particular meeting end the rivalry between the Igbos and the Yorubas? What exactly was the cause of the rivalry? What led to the rivalry? The rivalry has been for years now and those some of the people who began the rivalry are no more today. So how does this present generation tries or wants to end or put an end to the rivalry as it were? Well, it remains to be seen how this is uh, handled as the case may be. Don't forget that the Eastern people, the Igbos are to a very large extent, let's not say all of them, but majority of them are in favor of secession from Nigeria and uh, are in favor of the Biafran Republic. While the Yorubas, a good number of them are in favor of the Odudua Republic. But however, this coming together by this uh, group to uh, plan this meeting also or this powerful stakeholders meeting as it were it probably might just be signaling the coming together of the Iwo and the Yoruba to synergize together to agitate for uh, the referendum that the Southeast has been calling for. Well I stand to be corrected if I am wrong but that is what I think might probably be the way forward or what this uh, coming together will end up, you know, profiteering in the long run. But however, let's not preempt this group or organization and the, the meeting as it were. We keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold. Well, no one can deny the uh, rivalry between the Igbos and the Yorubas. and how it has affected a lot of things, both economically, socially, or religiously, and otherwise. But if those who are to attend the meeting reach an agreement, will that same agreement, be, will others be bounded, be binded by this agreement is a question. Will the rest of the uh, people be bounded by this same agreement? It remains to be seen, stand to be corrected. But however, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story as it were. What are your thoughts, guys? Let's know what your thoughts are on this particular news story as it were. Please drop by at the comment section, let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.